right now? Bro, bro, bro. First of all, we was at the Drake. We was at the Drake concert, bro. We was at the Drake concert, bro. We were at the Drake concert. It was a whole, I did a whole bunch of shit for the first time. We didn't, we didn't enter through the regular way. It was a back way. We went, we skipped security. It was amazing. I didn't even know you can do bro. Every time I've been to a Hawks game, I had to go through security. This time, we skipped all of that. It was amazing, bro. We went through the tunnels, went straight to where we needed to go to. Bro, this Drake, y'all can call it because you can't say positive about Drake in 2023. This is a great entertainer, bro. Central C open. Central C was a nice vibe. I feel like he came out way too early because after he came out, it was like an hour gap before Drake pulled up. But um, Central C was a, he, he did good. The DJ was cooking. Feel me? The DJ was cooking. And agent plus no security equals good vibes. Bro, you know I don't have a problem with like 99% of security. It's just the 1% that be bugging, bro. I, I'm mad that now on the internet, I think like I just like, every time I see security, I'm just like teed up. Bro, I'm chill. I'm not like a, I'm not an entitled, you feel me? At the same time though, bro, anyway, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Security, not securing shit. Bro, you know what the fucked up part is? Is y'all have all experienced it on a trip. Like a security or an employee on a trip just trying to do the most. So stop pretending like you don't know what the fuck I'm on about, bro. So anyway, um, bro, it was a great concert. The nigga ran through so many songs. But you know the part, bro, he has, bro, I'm going to glaze for a second. The nigga has so much hits, he didn't even play the ones I wanted, really. Like, he has so many hits. The songs that I would have known all the lyrics to, he didn't, even, he didn't even get to those, bro. He didn't even get to those, okay? But he, he I, I didn't count. The nigga probably rapped about 60 songs though plus it was a lot of shit. it was a lot of shit and it was good it was hours long there was a i never seen nothing like this at a concert before there was almost like an intermission during the show where he like went to the dj booth and um it was like a whole bunch of like edm remixes of his songs but it was a good excuse for people to go to the bathroom grab food or snacks or a drink and then come back to really enjoy like the rest of the thing and so like i never seen that before bro i never seen that before uh, he does like 52 songs. 21 Savage came in. 21 Savage floated as usual. Uh, the nigga did fantastic. And then, um, yeah, we popped out at night, bro. Marvelous time. Um, just a good time, man. I don't even know. Like, just a great time, bro. Uh, I seen a nigga at, when we was out. I seen him. I said, um, I didn't want to interrupt the nigga. I bet he gets approached to all the time. But I said, hey, man, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Love. Boom. It was a good quality dap. Um, it was a nice, I, I'd probably say probably like eight and a half, nine out of 10 dat. Only thing that would have made it a higher quality dat probably would have been if this shit echoed. Sometimes you can connect with a nigga and it just shit echoes and reverbs. You feel me? And a whole, a whole, like everyone could, could hear it. Everyone knew it had. So it was a eight and a half, nine out of 10. I'd probably argue. And then, um, no, I just say hi, like a normal nigga, bro. I just say hi, like a normal nigga. And then, um. And then, boom, we just had a great time with everybody. It was so fun. I met Drewski yesterday for the first time, too. Drewski is great vibes. Um, the nigga dress hilarious. He's my... Bro, you know what I like about Drewski is the nigga just does whatever fuck he wants to do because that's how he feels like doing it. The nigga dressed in, like, a fucking football jersey with a hoodie underneath or some shit like that. And I just love that because I'm the type of nigga to just pull up places however I want to. And um, I just appreciated that out of him. It was great, though. I met so many random people. Uh, for the first time, and we met Trey Young. Trey Young was there. Um, that was nice. Davis got his get back because the first time Davis tried to say hi to Trey Young, uh, nigga completely ignored him. So Davis finally got that little introduction. <laughs> bro, it was fun. But more than all of that chat, like, I just had a good time, bro. I had a good time. Nigga's a great performer, bro. Nigga's a great performer. I had a good time. Simple as that. I see the yapathon has begun, but you can't even tell stories without niggas saying you're yapping. Like, bro, y like, I don't know, bro. Do I have to shoot videos when I'm doing things so that I can react to them so it doesn't become a yap? Like, like, am I allowed to say things at all, or or am I banned from doing that? Just, am I, am I asking? Am I allowed to even like say that was like the most concise way I could tell that story? On God, I can get into detail. I'm banned. Bro, like, that's the shit I be talking about. So you just don't want me. Like, I, if I could have really, I could have really went in depth about every single thing there. And 
And, and this shit probably would have took like 50 minutes. Feel me? Where we was, who was there, what we were doing. Uh, I, I skipped every detail, nigga. I, I gave y'all niggas the cliff notes and I'm still chatting somehow. I get, like, literally, even with the cliff notes, I'm still somehow chatting. But that's nuts. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it was great, though. It was great. Bro, the nigga rented out, like, a whole spot. That's some rich shit, nigga. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. It was a big establishment, too. Nigga rented out a whole spot. It was very cool. Um, and I got, and it was with my people, too, bro. Nigga, everybody was there, bro. It was so fun, man. 